Well, today I'm making this short little video to uh, show you what I'm going to be doing the next couple of days. Okay. As you see in front of me, I have uh, three Cyborg Evos. Now, this one, this one over here is mine. These two belong to one of my best friends who was actually a part of my original um, clan called the litter box <laughs> you gotta remember back then back that was back in the 90s and the early 2000s uh we were all in our 40s so uh yeah it was kind of a play on words the litter box like a bunch of old turds hanging around gotta tell you though he was my he was my right hand man and uh oh boy we used to whoop some ass i'm telling you um and I taught him how to use one of these Cyborg Evos also. And uh, so he brought me, he brought me this one, which is the main one he uses. And this one, if I need any parts off of it, if you'll notice a little difference here. Okay. This one, you see, you see the foam padding he put on here? Does that look a little familiar to the old man's, yeah, custom made, yeah. He was, yep, he kind of fabricated this. Well, anyway, there's two things. Well, the main problem he's having is it won't center, and uh, the software's not working properly with it. Now, this thing has got two things going on with it. Down underneath the spring, uh, it has a ball and socket joint, which is ABS plastic working against each other, Okay. And uh, what's happened is he's having a problem with the centering and getting the software because you can actually put little, yeah, I'll show you the software maybe tomorrow. You can put little divisions in how far you move it, but if it doesn't snap back properly, then uh, it's not going to work properly. Not only that, but underneath it, inside, there are optical uh receptors that actually read the bottom of that joystick plus this joystick if you notice it's got a big spring right here if you need to you can uh you can actually use some shims and tension that up make it go back together again but anyways we're not sure what exactly is going wrong with this joystick but we're going to fix it for him and uh got this flashlight i want to show you some first that I find out okay if you look down here at the ball and joint you see that whiteness right there if you look over here here's this backup you can probably see that even more see that's ABS plastic deteriorating now, if you look at mine, the one I'm using today, you won't see any of that. Now, it, it could be some sensors also, and we may have to do some modifications inside the rig, but I'm guessing he just needs to get this thing... Uh, this ball joint cleaned up and since it's ABS plastic this is going to sound kind of funny uh, what you want to do is you can't just polish that plastic because you got to remember it's got it's got a it's got a cup and a ball okay so both have to be you can't really polish ABS but what you can do is you can use just a fine amount of uh, uh acetone right i don't know if any of you guys have ever built like uh plastic car models and stuff before you use too much of the uh of the glue and it the plastic got soft never got hard again and you ruined uh yeah your plastic model well see what we're going to do is we're going to use just a light amount of acetone and just rub it lightly on the ball and uh and the socket surface and what all that'll do is uh it'll take out that 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 white deterioration almost like body putty on a car 
and it'll make it smooth again. And then once it dries, if you use a light amount, we'll be able to um, actually come back and then polish it, adjust the spring and everything. And I will be taking this apart probably tomorrow and showing you guys the, in, uh, the internals, show you the, because uh, we're definitely going to have to clean uh, the optical sensors in the bottom. And we got to take it apart and do all this anyway. So, uh, yep, the old man's just uh, letting you know um, this is what I'm into right now. And like I said, my best buddy. Oh, by the way, when I said he was my best buddy, he was, I also told you he was my right hand man in my, uh, my letterbox clan. Okay. We had a TeamSpeak server. Oh, we had it all going on. Here's what's really funny was um, when we got together and decided to join and do this, we all built the same computers, me and him and our other buddy. And uh, I can't tell you his real name, but when he went to get online to play multiplayer, he was like, I'm not sure what name to go with. And I said, well, let's come up with one. So I came up with, come get some. And i tell you what, when he got online with that name, people were like, I'm going to come get some. So anyways, there's where we're at, right there. The old man's going to be uh, fixing up his buddy's uh, Cyborg Evo so he can get back to playing soon. And uh, I'll be talking to you guys later. You have a good evening. And like the old man always says, I'm off to do some other stupid shit. All right, goodbye.